everyone this is wheel tough and today I'm coming at you with a different video uh, as you can see Akihabara just went off the screen and um, yeah I just recently got back from a two-week trip to Japan and uh, just thought I would I guess record my um, adventures and share them with you uh, if you've ever been to Japan before, then you'll likely have been to most of these places. Um, if not, uh, you may have seen them on screen and whatnot in other videos as they're quite popular. Akihabara is of course the electronics district and I guess well known for having like uh, games and anime and kind of stuff like that. Um, so I did walk around that area a little bit. Um, I've been there several times before. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to go see what it was like. I hadn't been in Japan in four years, so a lot of these areas I revisited. And um, yeah, just to see what was new. Um, sometimes I could tell, sometimes I couldn't, as Japan is always changing, but I think a lot changed recently with the COVID shutdown. If you didn't know, uh, they were shut down until uh, October 11th. Uh, when I say shut down, that means like uh, normal tourism wasn't allowed. So uh, I actually went beforehand. Um, I was only able to go in because of a, a special visa that I was able to get. And, um, but yeah, now that, now that October 11th has passed, tourism is in full swing, I suppose. Uh, although you may notice that uh, not only myself, but pretty much everybody that you'll see on camera is wearing a mask. Uh, depending on where you live, uh, I know every place is different, but where I currently live uh, in Arizona, it's pretty much things are back to normal, no masks, and uh, yeah, just back to normal. But uh, Japan is uh, not that way. You're recommended to wear a mask pretty much everywhere um, outside when you're close to somebody, which means if you're in an area like this, you're near people constantly. Um, when you're riding the train, you, I don't know if it's recommended or you have to, I think it's just recommended at this point, but essentially everybody wears it, um, a mask that is. And when you go in stores, um, oh, next place, Meiji Shrine and uh, Shibuya Scramble Crossing. Uh, Meiji Shrine uh, or Meiji Jingu is a uh, really nice area to walk through. As you can see, it's like doesn't seem like a place that you would be able to go to in the middle of Tokyo. Trees everywhere, fresh air. Um, in this video, I didn't capture any of the actual shrine, uh, but it was a nice little break from the city. Um, here's me walking through the scramble crossing and um, actually a little bit less busy than what it normally is uh, of course that's because uh, less tourists this is I believe uh, taken before the 11th still quite a few people and um, a bit unusual for the day there was uh, I think a total of three uh, sumo wrestlers that uh, I spotted and uh, if you look on the top middle they're walking now and uh, there they are uh, yeah there's a couple there and there's one in front of them uh, also walking but yeah quite unusual to see sumo wrestlers in shibuya i thought that was kind of neat um, and next we're in ueno which um, i've been there quite a few times but i don't know if it's changed or just my memory is off um, it was a little bit more, uh, I don't know, like, I don't want to call it dirty, but a little bit more like gringy. I don't, I don't know what the word, right word is, but um, of course, a lot of people here and uh, you'll see later on when I go to uh, kind of like the Ame Yokocho area, which is uh, kind of like a famous shopping area, there was, um, I don't know, just a, kind of a different vibe that I got from it, which... Um, not necessarily one that I uh, am against or anything. Just, I don't know, if I, if I pick a place to go, I probably wouldn't go to Ueno again. But uh, we did go there to um, meet some friends uh, for lunch. And after lunch, um, they had to go on and do some other business of theirs. And we just walked around. Um, and of course, I took some, some footage here. 
um, just so I could share it with uh, you guys. And um, overall, though, it, it's a pretty fun place. Uh, Ueno has a zoo, if you don't know, and there's a couple of giant pandas in there. So you'll see, uh, maybe I have it on footage here, you'll see some uh, like panda stuff on like uh, murals or on store windows or something like that, just because. Um, yeah, that's what they're kind of known for, I guess, is the zoo and the pandas. Didn't go to the zoo this time. Um, actually, I haven't been to the zoo there in a while, um, but I have gone to see the, the giant pandas in the past. Um, so I'll be taking a turn down this street here, and you'll kind of see that it turns into, like, it really reminds me if you've ever been to, like, Venice Beach. There's, like, all these little shops. Um, some more like this one that we're passing right now is just kind of like a normal walk-in shop. But um, a lot of the other shops, once we get to the next uh, little turn, um, you'll see it's just like uh, where half the merchandise is like propped up outside and it's a lot of like t-shirts or bags or just things that I don't know if they're legitimate or knockoffs or what, but it just really reminds me of Venice Beach where you just got a whole bunch of just junk out there and uh, yeah, people are trying to tell you to go to their store. Uh, this section though does look a little bit more normal for the most part, I guess, normal shopping areas, but I think I take a right here and uh, you'll kind of, if you've ever been to Venice Beach before, you'll kind of get that uh, vibe. So uh, yeah, we walked around quite a bit this trip. Uh, normally I'm not that active. I do need to get more active in day-to-day -day life, but um, yeah, you'll see here like shoes, whatever just popped out and then like shirts or whatever but yeah did tons of walking it was great exercise I was pretty much sore every day uh, right here there's the Japan National Stadium on the right uh, I would I did walk around the entire thing but the footage kind of ends there and we walked to this other spot Japan National Stadium is where the uh, Tokyo Olympics were held and uh, I mean they were held in 2021 but they're still called the 2020 um, anyways also just wanted to share some other photos that I took. Primarily I'm a photographer, so um, um, video is kind of my thing that I'm learning right now. But um, yeah, here's some various pictures that I was able to take during the trip uh, that I thought I could share with you guys. Maybe I'll drop a link down in the description um, to all the photos. Uh, that way you can take a look if you would like to. Um, oh. Overall, very fun trip, ate a lot of good food, met a lot of friends um, that we hadn't seen for a while. Hopefully, we'll be going more often now, uh, but still, I want to wait for things to kind of get back to normal um, in the sense of where I don't have to like spray my hands with uh, sanitizer when I go into a store and like take they take my temperature and this and that. Of course, I want to stay safe and I want other people to feel safe. So. When in Rome, um, you know, do what you got to do. Uh, but I think uh, I'll probably wait another year or two before I head back, um, depending on how the situation is over there. Um, so I don't feel so, uh, I don't know, it's not such a big transition from, from here to there. So anyways, thanks for watching. That's going to be it for today. Final picture there, me taking some pictures. Uh, but yeah, have a great one. Hopefully next video will be some one wheel stuff and we'll see you next time.